Okay, welcome back. You've successfully wound on your warp, and now we're going to slay our heddle. Slaying is when you're going to move your threads from slots to holes, and it allows you to open a shed so that you can pass the weft through. It allows you to weave. So what we've done here is we've moved the loom around so that it's directly in front of you. You want to be comfortable because this takes some time. And it's, again, it's a process that you can stop. You don't have to do it all at once. And I want you to take your time. Because if there's any errors here, now is when you can correct them. If you've double threaded a slot or you've missed something, you can reorient your warp so that everything is OK. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to untie this knot because we don't need it anymore now that it's all wound on and controlled. We don't have to worry about dropping it and losing it. And I like to leave this a little long so that I can actually get the yarn out of my way. Um, if you wind it all the way up, it kind of dangles and you, it, it won't stay out of your way. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these marker threads because I just like to tidy up my, my loom. So you don't have to worry about anything else. You're just going to make sure that you're all snug down. And you're going to, I start on my left. Um, you can start on your right if you want to. And you can see across the back here that we have a nice flat uh, line of warp. And you're going to want to watch this because it's going to help you orient your threads. So we're going to start over here on the left. And we're going to hold one in each hand and you're going to pull on them and you're going to look right here and you're going to figure out which one is on the right and which one is on the left because we're going to move it to the right. So I want to keep the one that is rightmost and I want to move the one on the left out of my way. I'm going to unthread it. I'm going to pull it to the back of the heddle. And then I'm going to use my hook and put it in the adjacent hole. And I'm going to catch it like that. And I'm going to pull it through. You want to be careful because you don't want to split your threads and, you know, rip your yarn up. I'm going to pull it through. And you're going to toss it off to the side because now you're done with that. And you're going to move on to the next slot. You're going to tug on them. You're going to determine which one is sitting rightmost. Put the left one away. Unthread. Catch it. And pull it through the hole. Like I said, slow and steady. You don't want to make any mistakes. And any mistakes that you catch, you can fix them. You're going to have to shift everything along, but you can fix them. So rightmost, unthread your slot, and pull it back through the hole. And you're going to continue this all the way across. Um, like I said, you can take a break. Uh, you just want to go slow and careful. And when we get to the other side, we'll be ready to tie this warp onto your front apron rod. So we're coming to the end here. You've been slow and careful. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> Last couple. And when we get done, you'll be able to see one thread in each slot and in each hole. On the left, your, your edge yarn will be in a slot. And on the right, your last thread will be in a hole.
There we go. And if we bring them all back into the center here, you can see that now your slots move, but the holes don't. And that's what gives you your shed. And you're going to want to look across here and make sure that you have one thread in every hole and in every slot. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tie your warp onto the front apron and then we're going to be really close to weaving. Almost there! <laughs>